Hello, it's August 7, 2010, and this is Dave Williams. Today's podcast is about search engine optimization, or SEO. So what the heck is it? Well, probably the best way to explain it is to just show you. Let's say you're looking for a website of the world-renowned classical vocalist Kathleen Battle. Bring up your preferred search engine, say Google, and type the keywords Kathleen Battle website in the search box. This returns the following search engine results page. On this results page, we see a list of sites that fulfill those criteria. And at the very top, you see a site called Shibui, the fan website of Kathleen Battle, with a description saying that the site contains information about Kathleen Battle, including a biography, news, etc. Well, sounds promising, so we click on the link and... Hmm. Looking at the home page description and navigation links, it looks like this site could be informative. In addition, at the bottom of the page we see that the page was last updated on July 12, 2010. Looks like Google did a pretty good job in taking me straight to the website that I was looking for. So that takes us back to what is search engine optimization or SEO. In concise lay terms, it's editing content and code for your website to improve chances of users finding your website when searching the web. So what are some simple things we can do? In this short podcast, I will only mention four things you can do, which I think are the most important. 1. Choose effective keywords. In other words, think of the search terms people will type in the search box that your website addresses. In general, those key terms should be short, specific, words users would search on, and you'll also want to avoid selecting common words such as and, the, in, etc. For the Kathleen Battle website, here are the keywords used. Fairly straightforward. Number two, choose an effective domain and file name system for each site page. An effective domain name is easy to remember, short, and contains a word related to the website. Similarly, the site page file name should be short and logical. Going back to our example, let's look at those elements. Notice the domain name for KathleenBattle.com and file names such as contact.html and discography.html. 3. Optimize HTML. Search engines reward or rank pages higher that follow good design and coding conventions, such as use valid HTML and doc type. Use effective title tags. Use effective meta tags, i.e. description and keywords. And use image tags and alt tags. Here's what it looks like in the Kathleen Battle website. And four, submit your site to a respectable search engine for indexing. One search engine you can't go wrong with is, you guessed it, Google. You can submit your site for indexing via Google Webmaster Tools. Here's the URL to the Webmaster Tools, and all you need is a Gmail account to sign into the tools. Then you'll be taken to this page. Click on the Add a Site link found under the Home section. Then you'll be asked to do two things. 1. Submit the URL of your website's home page, and 2 verify that you are the webmaster of the site by adding a unique HTML co code generated for your site that Google search bot will look for. In the Kathleen Battle site, the code begins with meta name equals verify. And those are the four things that you can do to improve your site's search engine optimization and bring more people to your site. There is more you can do, like having other sites linked to your own website. Learn about that and more by typing search engine optimization in your favorite search engine and finding out what others have shared.
Thank you.